Hi, I'm Marta Venegas and today I will show you some general tips to work with Amish box. To run a job, click on the module and select one of the available analyses. It will open a wizard in which we can select the raw input data as well as to adjust different parameters. And if we don't know what a parameter is, we can click on the question mark button to obtain a brief description of it. Once everything is adjusted, click on run. A progress bar will be shown in the progress tab. You may click on this button to obtain a more detailed view of the analysis steps. You may also click on the square red button to stop the execution. Click on remove finished jobs to clean the view. It is possible to open OmniSbox files directly from the local files tab. Go through your directories and double click on a file to open it. Once a job execution finishes, the results table will be shown in the main viewer. Columns can be sorted in ascending or descending order by clicking on them. They can also be filtered by clicking on the inverted pyramid icon. The type of filters will vary depending on whether the column contains numeric, a string, or tag values. Once we apply a filter, it can be removed by clicking on this button on the top right corner. Results can also be saved by clicking on this button. They will be saved in a dot box format that can be opened again in Omics box. On the side panel, we have different downstream analyses that can be applied to the result, as well as different charts. The charts will be opened in this viewer and they also have a side panel in order to adjust their appearance. They also have different buttons to export them to different formats, like PNG, PDF, text, or save them in .box files. If we right-click in any of the column headers, we can select which columns we want to hide or show again. Although this is the default viewer distribution, the different tabs can be moved, put side by side, they can be maximized or minimized to adjust to your preference. Finally, the main results table has some context options as well. A context menu is open if we right-click on a given row. The tools listed at the top are specific for this type of analysis, whereas the ones in the bottom are common to any Omisbox project. It is possible to select all rows by clicking on Command A in Mac or Control A in Windows and Ubuntu. We can right click on any row and copy and paste the content of this column or generating an ID list. We can also generate a distribution chart of the given column. So this will conclude this short video about general Omisbox tips. Please visit our Biobank Help Center to find more information about each analysis in particular.
I hope you enjoy using Omnisworks. Thank you.